Today, we're diving deep into the rumor middle about the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset, which is expected to power the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. There's some intriguing news about Qualcomm's priorities for this chip, so let's break it down. Qualcomm's Snapdragon chipsets have been the gold standard for flagship Android smartphones for years. The next iteration, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, is on the horizon, slated for a reveal at the Snapdragon Summit this October. It's expected to be the driving force behind devices like the Galaxy S25 Ultra early next year. However, there's a surprising twist. Qualcomm seems to be shifting its focus. According to a reliable leaker, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, fabricated using TSMC's cutting-edge 3 in process, is delivering exceptional GPU performance. We're talking Adreno 750 levels of graphics prowess that rival the mighty Dimensity 9300 from MediaTek, but with a staggering 50% reduction in power consumption. That's a monumental leap in GPU efficiency. This is undoubtedly fantastic news for gamers and enthusiasts who crave visually stunning experiences, but there's a caveat. While the GPU is making significant strides, the CPU, the brains of the operation, is reportedly experiencing only a single-digit performance uplift compared to its predecessor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. The leaker even goes so far as to advise that if raw CPU performance is your top priority, it might be wise to hold off on the Galaxy S25 Ultra and wait for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. So what does this mean for the highly anticipated Galaxy S25 Ultra? On the bright side, a more efficient GPU translates to a smoother, more immersive gaming experience, enhanced performance for graphics-intensive apps, and potentially extended battery life. Let's not forget that the transition to TSMC's 3 in process is inherently more power efficient, contributing to overall energy savings. We can anticipate a device that runs cooler and lasts longer on a single charge. However, for those who prioritize raw processing speed, the modest CPU improvements might be a slight letdown. Fast forward to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, the chipset anticipated to power the Galaxy S26 in 2026. Rumors suggest it will retain the same CPU core configuration as its predecessor, featuring two performance cores and six efficiency cores. The real advancements are expected to come in the form of refined architecture and even more advanced process node. In conclusion, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is shaping up to be a chipset with a clear emphasis on GPU performance and efficiency. While this is undoubtedly a positive development, it's crucial to weigh your priorities. If gaming, smooth animations, and extended battery life are your primary concerns, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be a compelling choice. But if you're chasing the highest possible CPU benchmarks, it might be worth waiting for the next generation. What are your thoughts on this? Are you excited about the GPU advancements, or are you hoping for more substantial CPU gains? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two pronged attack to achieve this a monstrous camera system and mind blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens also with a 50 megapixel sensor and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3X zoom and ultra wide sensors are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option, and not just any RAM, but the industry first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers, 
Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more! We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in! I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.